should record the one. All right, I'm here with uh, Catherine. All right, Catherine, so I know your family is a very like strong wrestling background. Um, now when your dad passed away, I know he was a two-time Olympian and a respected coach. Um, could you talk a little bit about what your dad meant to you? Yeah, um, so he um, he's definitely one of like the founders for women's wrestling. So he, um, he did it in hopes that Sarah and I would um, start wrestling. And so, um, I mean, for me, like, and wrestling, like, it's synonymous with my dad. It's, it's you know, everything um, all wrapped up together. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's the one that started us with wrestling, and he really helped, kind of helped forge a path for us so that we could compete and compete against women and be at the level that we are today. And um, so he's been, obviously, a huge, huge influence over our lives. And, um, yeah. Did it take a lot of convincing, or was it just kind of come naturally to do um, wrestling? <laughs> I think it was probably a little bit of both. I don't know if he always, um, if he knew for sure what we were, you know, because every day was different. Like some days, cause when we were little kids, like some days we'd want to wrestle, and the next day we didn't. So I'm sure there was times <laughs> where he was worried and he was concerned that maybe we weren't really going to pick it up. Um, and it definitely took my mom some convincing because she didn't want us to like. Um, she didn't want to buy any stuff, like especially wrestling shoes because they're expensive. So we just had like those water shoes and we would just like duct tape them <laughs> to our feet. So um, I'm sure that was like kind of probably worrisome to him because he's like, are they really gonna like it? Like we don't even have shoes for them. Like so, um, um, so I don't know if it took convincing as much as he was just. I mean, for anyone who knew him, like he was just a very patient man and. Um, he just let whatever happened happen and um, uh, encouraged us in the right ways and didn't push us too hard, too young, and um, I think it made all the difference. So. Now I know your sister uh, Sarah wrestled too, did uh, she help convince you or influence you in any way? Definitely. Um, I mean, there's a combination of like some sibling rivalry that it's like when, you know, she's doing it, like I can do it. And um, I think that aspect always helped us push each other along. Um, and then seeing her success, like she was very successful at a young age and through high school, through college, throughout her career. Um, and so um, having her, um, especially when she, she was three, she's three years older than me, so having her like kind of a few steps ahead, it was like m me seeing my future. Um, so it definitely helped definitely helped me see and um, but it also in a way made it so it was like I never I never um, questioned what would happen like I just I knew my path kind of so yeah. that's cool now I know you uh, currently help to your current athlete uh, promotion specialist for the US Olympic Committee mm -hmm. and you are a part of the keep the effort you know to for the 20 20 games how does it feel to be a part of that successful effort um, I mean for getting wrestling back in I mean that was a really awesome. Those were awesome events to be part of. Um, and especially since, um, um, I think I said it in like one of my interviews that um, it can be really hard from an athlete's perspective. Besides social media, I mean we can do the best we can there, but um, it's not like we can like put all this effort into like a program or like an event always because we're busy training and it's kind of kind of like our duty to just kind of like train hard and show, show off the sport and the best manner but um so it was really a unique opportunity to be involved um and um and still feel like i was giving uh, like my part and um so yeah 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 doing doing my my best without like me putting on an entire event you know i felt really involved so yeah now i know you were part of uh, beat the streets what was it like to put on that clinic and teach younger girls how to wrestle? Um, first, I was extremely amazed by the numbers. Huge numbers of girls. Um, I don't. I can't remember the exact number, but maybe we had like seventeen to twenty-five. I believe yeah, something like there. that. So close, maybe close to twenty-five. I mean, and that and it was a small, fairly small room, but we had like two or three mats, and it was packed. And um, it was really cool to um, to put that whole thing on and um, to be part of like kind of the the New York wrestling seen, especially since I am NYAC, um, I've never gotten an opportunity to um, spend extra time there or, or spend time with um, New York female wrestlers. Um, and then, of course, the girl who's, um, who 
who's the coach for there, Jackie Davis. She's actually one of my best friends from college, and wrestled in college, so that was just really special for us to kind of reunite and do that together. Um, so, yeah, great opportunity. Now, uh, I know the Olympic weight classes have changed, and then I know in Sweden you're going to go 55, or I believe it's 55, right? Sweden, um, I would have gone 53. Or 58, that's what it is, yeah. World Cup stuff okay. and things deciding I'm not going to Sweden now. Okay. So things have, yeah, okay. shifted around a little bit. But so some... is your new weight class going to be 53 then instead of yeah. 58? You're going to go down? Okay. Yeah, definitely 53. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why you decided to just go down? Is it easier or? Um, in college, I was 51. Okay. And um, so as soon as I moved out here um, 2010, I was about, we're about two years out. For London, and it was pretty much decision making time, and I couldn't, and can never go down to 48 kilos, <laughs> and um, height wise, and so um, it was like just had to make a decision and had to go up to 55. So um, I kind of, it was kind of perfect timing, and I had had surgery right before, so I spent the time getting up to 55. Mm -hmm. um, but even still, 55 was um, still kind of like a bigger weight class for me. Um, it was a successful year, and uh, taking third at the um, trials like sh showed the great work that I put in obviously disappointing um, but I knew like hopefully with the new weights it would be a better weight for me so 53 is like really really perfect because all that weight that I put on for 55 can stay and then I can still I can mm -hmm. get a weight that's a little better for me. Gotcha. What's one place you've wrestled at that you enjoyed and why? Um, I think my favorite place um, was probably Greece. I mean it helps that it was University Worlds, it helps that I won. <laughs> um, but um, I mean, we spent, I spent extra time with my family, my mom, my sister, and my dad, we all were there. And um, it was a really memorable trip for all of us. And um, that's definitely probably why. I mean, it was just a really special experience to have all our family together and mm -hmm. at our University Worlds, so. Is there a place you're looking forward to going to wrestle coming um, up? Yeah, hopefully. Tokyo, depending on how things work out for World Cup and um, some World Championships. So. What's your favorite movie you like to hit? Ooh, my favorite movie? Move. My favorite move? move. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, um, I really like either, this, I like simple, simple stuff, high C to double or just double, but um, probably a favorite is doing like a, um, and like an inside arm drag to a high shot. It's probably my favorite. Nice. So what is um, one of your uh, things you're trying to improve on this season? Um, for me, stance and positioning. Um, positioning is really important, especially with me for my length. And um, I'm going to be tall for my weight class no matter what. I mean, I'm as tall as like a 72 kilo girl. So um, definitely positioning stance and um, movement there. So. What is your most memorable match and why? Um, it, probably my most memorable is actually one that I lost, but um, wrestling Patricia Miranda in um, uh, maybe 2009, I think, at um, US Nationals. Um, it was old rules, and I had won the first round, and then we were going to the second round, and I'd already crash lifted her, taken over for two, and she, um, it was really crazy. She, she was kind of, she kind of had me caught a little bit, but she was mostly getting around for a takedown, and I was on my side, so it was almost like I should have just gotten exposed. And I was on my side, like 90 degrees, and the official on the mat, she called for a pin, and then the official on the other side, like waved his hands like this to say no, but she, I guess she thought he meant like this, and so she called it, and the whole crowd booed. And Patricia was like shocked and she was like I'll keep wrestling like this is ridiculous like you obviously were not pinned like I was at 90 degrees like that, mm -hmm. so that was probably my most memorable match because it was like exciting chaos <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was exciting obviously because the match I already was winning and then it was added a whole other crazy element to it but um, an exciting day so yeah what would you say uh, what do you do when you're not wrestling what's your favorite thing to go do um, Especially being in Colorado, I love hiking and um, taking my dog out and just playing with her out. Um, we take her for hikes a lot. Um, also being in Colorado, you know, getting good beer. <laughs> you have to hit up the good breweries, so 
that's always important. <laughs> so those are probably, I mean, those are like pretty like the low key things, you know? I wish I could say like skiing or snowboarding, but I've never done that here. I've only done it once when I was like little. So um, maybe that'll be eventually one day. But for now, the low key thing is the light hike. What um... <laughs> <laughs> kind of dog is it? Um, she's a little pointer mix and she's like 45 pounds. <laughs> she's really little and really spunky. Uh, hyper, kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite music to listen to? Um, I like a little bit of everything. Um, I would say uh, right now I have some Mumford and Sons on my playlist. Um, what else do I have? I know I lost my music, so I'm like rebuilding. Um, <laughs> um, Ellie Golding. Everything. I definitely like a mix of different things, and yeah. Where do you uh, see yourself? Do you see when you're done wrestling, living in Colorado? Mm. Um, Where would your ideal place be? To live? Either Colorado <laughs> or California. Um, California's home, um, but I think for sure at some point I really like to live in a different country for a little while. Um, so I'm really open to like wherever wherever things go, so, but for now, it'll probably be Colorado since I'm pretty settled here, so. All right, well thanks, I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks.